Hello my friends. We are in some interesting times right now. Republican. Democrat. I hate them all. Where, where do you line up? You scared? You got fear? You unsure what's going to happen? Are you a Republican and you're scared to death and it's driving you sick and mad? Are you a Democrat and you are shaking because you can't have Orange Man win? Well, my friends, I'm here to say to you, and I want to speak to everybody before you unsubscribe and click off this video, I'm going to speak to all parties. And I want you just to listen. I'm not trying to sway you, sway anyone on anything. <sighs> to the undecided, to the ones that aren't sure if they should go blue or if they should go red. My personal thoughts on this is it's stupid that you should that you have to choose. My personal thought is why can't we pick a Republican? So we vote for a Republican. And we vote for a Democrat, and then those two work together as president. That's that's what I wish we could do. We can't. We're not. We're not there. We're not. I don't know if we'll ever be there. Because think about it, if you had one Republican that was voted by the people, and one Democrat that was voted by the Democrat people, not these high up people, then you would have a Republican and Democrat that would have to get along to actually change this country. That's what I would love. We're not. We're not there. So. Where are we? Here's the deal. I am voting for Donald J. Trump. Before you X off, before you unsubscribe, I am not voting for Donald Trump because I agree with everything he says. I cannot stand when he swears. I can't watch a rally of his when he starts to go off on his little tantrums. Okay? I like Donald Trump in a lot of areas and a lot of pol in most of his policies, but I can't stand the guy when he starts kind of acting like a bully, when he starts kind of acting like a little kid, when he starts swearing and overreacting to stuff and, and, and that kind of stuff. Okay. I vote based off of data and my values. Okay. My data is the last four years have been horrible, especially if you're a business owner, the cost of everything's up. It's just horrible across the board on all the levels, health insurance, um, gas, food, well, just everything. I mean, you can literally say everything across the board when you compare it to when Donald Trump was president. I'm voting for the policies, not the man. And that's what a lot of people need to understand on the other side. It's the policies, not the man. Now, a lot of people do get up, caught up in the, in the, you know, the entertainment side of it. And I'm voting for Donald Trump because of his plans, because I know they work. And I, I know that's what this is going to be good for this country. Now, to my Democratic friends. If you're pro-choice, pro-LGBTQ and all that, pro-illegal immigrants, if you're pro, you know, I know you don't like to call it that, so pro-immigrants, um, pro-open borders and all and that kind of stuff, then vote for Kamala, okay? I'm not here to tell you don't. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not here to say shame on you or shame on me or shame on anybody for whoever they vote. You vote who you're convicted to in your heart. But I, I just want everybody to vote based off of actual real things and not just not just words. Policy is what changes your life, your pocket, um, your wallet, your purse, not what people say. And I'm voting Donald Trump because, for one, there's RF, RFJ... RF, I always get that mixed up. RFK Jr. Whatever. Um, I really like him on health and a lot of stuff. Like he's really good. I like Elon Musk on cutting costs and and that kind of side. Um, I like Vance. I do think Vance is good. Um, finally, someone that's a little younger. I mean, he's still older, but better than eighty. <laughs> you know. Um, I like the team behind it, and I really think think I think the next four years we could actually prosper as a country and based off of policies, um, not by words, it's actual policies. So that's why I'm voting. And of course my values. Um, but if you're voting for Kamala, that's okay. If you're undecided, 
To the undecided voters, I want you to take a look at your wallet and say, is it full of cash? You got tons of money. You're paying your bills fine. The last four years, you haven't felt no change, no difference. Okay, then vote for Kamala. If the last four years for the undecided voters, if the last four years you didn't really notice anything different, inflation, nothing, nothing really affected you, vote for Kamala. That's the honest truth. I'm, I'm here telling you, vote Democrat. If the last four years... You haven't thought to yourself, holy cow, how did things get so expensive? Why is the electric bill? You, you say to your wife, why why'd you spend so much at the grocery store? Hun, I just bought the same stuff we always get. If you haven't had to do that, if you haven't had to actually cut cost places, maybe not go out to eat as much, not DoorDash as much, not go on dates as much. If you just have been doing the same old thing for the last four years, income's great, everything's great, vote for Democrat. But if you're like a lot of people and you're wondering why the heck is things so expensive? Why the heck this? Why, why, why this? I'm tired of being broke. I make a decent living. I work overtime just to pay extra bills. You know, I'm tired of being paycheck to paycheck. Why do we have all this credit card debt? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. If you're one of those people, vote Republican because Donald Trump's plans will benefit you. So again, if the last four years have been good for you, vote Democrat. The last four years have been really hard, really tough for you, and you just want a break. You want somebody to come in and, and, and say, here's your break. Vote Republican. And that's based off of policy. That's not based off of vote Republican because I'm a patriot and that's the only reason. <laughs> that's a good reason, but <laughs> that's... No, I'm not like that. I follow the data, the, the plans, the actual real life things because I'm in the dirt, like, I am in the dirt, I am following data all day, 12 plus hours a day, I'm in everything, I see the, I see it all, the stock market I invest in, from crypto to stock market to NFTs to trading cards to food prices to what people are buying and selling, I'm everywhere, I'm all over the place, and I see it all, I've seen it four years of Trump, and I've seen it four years of not Trump. So, here's the thing. Vote for whoever you're convicted in your heart, but do not vote because of words. A lot of people will watch rallies of both sides and vote based off of words, and words mean nothing without actions. Politicians lie from the Republican and Democrat side. Lies, lies, lies. This, this, this. I'm going to do that, or he's going to do this, or she's going to do that. I don't want you to vote for Trump because of the stuff he says about Kamala. I don't want you to vote for Kamala for the stuff she says about Trump. I want you to vote for Trump based off of his plans, based off of his values, based off of what he's actually done and the plans that and the people around him. And I want you to vote for Kamala based off of her plans, her ideas, and the people around her. If you take a look around her and say you're pro, pro-choice, Blah, blah, and then the stuff we did then you know where you're going but if you are sick and tired of taking a look at your wallet and and thinking well just put on the credit card are you are you an american and you're sick and tired of of just saying just put it on the credit card is that a normal thing for you well you know don't worry about it just put it on the credit card well hun but the credit card's so high what are we gonna do what are we going to do? Put it on the credit card. I mean, we need to replace this. We need to do this. Well, we need to have uh, some fun. We got to go out and do something. Like, what do you want to do? I'm, I'm. All we do is work and pay bills. And it's like, what are we doing? If that's you, the option's clear and vote red. Don't vote. Don't vote for the rhetoric or the bullying. Again, Trump, a lot of stuff, he goes over the top. A lot of people love that. I don't like that. I don't I don't like when he swears. Like I, I don't even like when he says, Ah hell and damn and you know that's probably the only times you guys are gonna hear me really swear in a video. <laughs> um I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like you know Sure, is it entertaining on some aspect? Sure, but that's not what I'm voting for. I'm not voting for an entertainer. I'm voting for policy. 
and his policies align with me and align with business and align with getting ahead. It's that simple. So please. And here's the thing to those who say, well, I'm not going to go out and vote. I don't, I don't like either or not. I'm not voting. Please vote. Please. I'm asking you go out and vote tomorrow. Even if you're voting for a Democrat, go out and vote. Your voice does matter. And I know it's not fair. Why are we choosing from two people? It's stupid. I, I know. I know. It's ridiculous. Why do we got to choose one or the other? Why can't? I know. It's dumb. But this is our system and this is our country. And you matter even if the world tells you that you don't. Your voice matters. I don't care if the world tells you you don't matter. I don't care if you're voting, if you're going to lean towards Trump and then you get attacked. Or if you vote for Kamala and you're going to get attacked. Here's the thing. Go and vote. You don't have to tell anybody who you're voting for. You can just go up and vote. And here's the thing. To a lot of husbands and wives, get off the high horse. If your husband votes for Trump and you vote for Kamala, good. So what? If you are a patriot and your wife or or your husband is voting for a Democrat, so what? If you married your spouse based off of the color that they're choosing, come on. Either or, flip it around. If your husband, if your wife's voted for a Republican and you're voting for Democrat, let let can we just love people? And stop going off at the deep end. Let people vote for who they want. Just educate them. For me, I'm tired of being, my revenue has dropped 80%. I've been working 10 times harder for less pay. The last four years. And it's policy because I know the policies. I'm in the policy. So I'm voting for Donald Trump. I'm not voting for the man for the words he says. I'm voting for the man, the action behind those words. Again, go out and vote. Have fun with it. Stand in line. Talk to people. If you're a Republican and there's a Democrat in front of you, just talk. Have fun. We're humans. Stop being divided. (laughs) If you are a Democrat and there's a Republican in front of you, Why are you getting mad? They're a fellow human. You and me are raised differently. You and me have a different thought process. Not everybody's going to think like me and think like you. I can lay out everything why I'm voting for red. I can lay out the proof that the economy was better. The proof, and just, I want to point out, People that go by the stock say, well, you know, stock market's at all times highs and this and stuff. You don't know the stock market like I know. You don't know the stock market like I know. The stock market is being propped up by some big companies. Major companies like NVIDIA. Okay? When you take all the stock companies across the board, most, very many of them are struggling really bad. They're actually down over the last four years, or they're stagnant. You see, the stock market makes these highs because of these big companies and AI is leading the charge. So these big companies have been getting boosts. NVIDIA is shooting it up. So when when you have NVIDIA shoot up high and Microsoft and all these other companies go up, you can have 10% of the companies shoot up while the other ones are just down there low and it can look like we're Living to the dream, the stock's the dream. That's why, you know, you got to be very careful right now. Um, but anyway, um, point is, please go out and vote whoever you're voting for. If you're undecided, take a look at your wallet, take a look at your gas bill, take a look at your electric bill, take a look at your rent, take a look at the housing, take a look at all your bills in your life and ask yourself, you want four more years of this, maybe worse? Ask yourself that. For those that are voting Democrat, Vote for Democrat. If, if you're set in stone on, on her, vote for her. You're not going to have me. I'm not going to hate you. I'm not going to cuss at you. I'm not going to tear you down on this channel. You know, we're not like that. If you're voting for a Republican, good job. 
I want to thank you because you're actually voting for change that's going to really help businesses. Again, if you're voting for Democrat, thank you for voting either way. Even if you're going against what I believe or support, thank you for voting. Thank you for actually getting out there and doing your part. Now, after all has been said and done, if you're Republican, if you're Democrat, please understand Jesus is in control. If you're a Christian, please understand when you wake up Wednesday or whenever it's finalized, can you please understand Jesus is in control? If, if, if hard times are supposed to come, then hard times are going to come. If Jesus wants Trump to win, Trump's going to win. If Jesus wants Kamala to win, Kamala's going to win. God is in control. None of us are. But as a human being, as an American citizen, it's, your, it's our right to vote. It's our right to give our opinions. So we go out there and we do that because we contribute. You know, Jesus has spoken about that. You know, we're supposed to be out there. We're supposed to, but we're supposed to be doing it with love, not this hate that I see on both sides. So good luck, my friends. Um, I'm excited, you know, going to have a party, watch party, you could say, pizza, soda, and all that fun stuff. So I'm excited for family time, just to enjoy and watch. Um, will I be disappointed if Trump loses? Yes. I will be disappointed for his policies because I truly believe we could have really four years of prosperity, four years of saving up money. Um, so, yeah, I'll be disappointed, but I don't hate if Kamala wins. Okay, she wins. You know, someone's got to win and someone's got to lose. But you know what? If you believe in Jesus... You're a winner every single day for the rest of your life until you walk through those gates of heaven. So no matter what happens on this world, no matter what, if you believe in Jesus, you'll be okay. Even if times are really hard, you'll be okay. This is temporary, my friends.